Seems like a good time, right? Seems like a good time. What's up, everybody? How's it? Oh, wait a minute. Let me get, get over here on these. Uh, game is already unmuted. No, I don't want to screenshot that. Is the game? Is this game on? Hello? Oh, I'm stuck. I can't hear anything in the game. Hang on. I know this is still on the start screen. I'm aware. Aha! There we go. I wanted to make sure that was working before I did anything else. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I am I am Deuce Mess. Uh, hello, hello, camera. My camera's not working. My camera's not working. Okay, well we'll go without the camera today, I guess. Uh, never mind. Uh, I thought we were going with the camera. We're not. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, we have uh, just limed the field, and now we have two. Uh, we've got to lower this thing down to start with. Uh, let's close that too. That way nothing gets in there. We don't have anywhere else to put it at the moment. Uh, we have some sugar beet planting to do. Uh, True Man of War becoming our newest uh, $10 patron on Patreon. Uh, you can join up today. Either on Patreon or on Nexus. I have member status for both. You can be a Twitch subscriber here, of course. A YouTube member as well. All different ways to support the channel if you so choose. Not required, but appreciated. And, uh... Well, that out of the way. Uh, yeah. Hope everybody's doing well. True. Uh, Derek, how's it going? Bubbly D, Spider X. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm sure Bob will be over here in a minute. Uh, I know, kind of a short stream on YouTube. And then back at it today. So... Ten may be a tad off. Wait, it said, that's what it told me. It told me I had a new member for the ten dollar. It may be it may be lower than that. It may be a one dollar. Either way, I appreciate you joining on Patreon. Patreon goes so for anybody wondering, um, Patreon goes straight to my PayPal account. Um, and that PayPal account is used for uh, picking up new games buying equipment and such uh so any upgrades and stuff that um i don't get through drop uh through through the post office uh i uh i use my paypal uh, whatever goes to my paypal if i have to save up i'll let it build for a month or two or three uh and i'll pick new stuff up the microphone and stuff i showed you guys last week uh or monday maybe it was monday i showed you guys uh so that came through page uh my paypal stuff my patreon money and I bought the sharpening block that Gabriel was talking about. That came through there as well. So uh, I do use that specifically for um, picking up new new things. Uh, I think what we're going to do is I'm just going to start right here. And we're going to go around the field. Probably try higher. Well, it just said $10. Hang on. Let me go look. Now i got to go see. Because it said $10. Well, either way, I appreciate it. You got the, you got the, the uh, big turd package, I do believe. Uh, let's see benefits. Uh, no, relationship manager. There we go. Uh, 
yeah, it says ten dollars. So if it was supposed to be more, you may want to double check on your side, and I'll wait. Since it was today, uh, we'll wait and see if if uh, if the other charge comes through. But it says ten dollars, so uh, it may be it may be more than that. But I'm just seeing ten. So uh, not that it, not that I'm complaining whether it's one or ten or fifty cents or whatever. Uh, I just want to make sure that that whatever money you thought you were spending actually went through there. So uh, that needs to be that needs to be found out. So uh, I appreciate it, no matter what it is. It definitely keeps me doing what I'm doing. It keeps me being able to purchase games and such. Because without the without pay, honestly without PayPal, uh, I would not be able to pick up new games to play. I would have to I would have to pick and choose what I do and and keep playing demos, which I'm enjoying right now. Honestly, playing some demos. But yeah, I wouldn't be able to pick up new stuff. Uh, if it weren't for for all of the patreons over the years uh, that have that have kept me kept me buying games and upgrading equipment and such so uh, big thanks uh, to true for becoming the newest patreon member um, yeah it's much appreciated yeah I just want you to be sure that uh, whatever you spent uh, matches what I'm seeing not that it won't but uh, it's just that's what it's showing me right now. So, that's all it's showing me right now. Um, but either way, I'll look further into it and I'll message you for sure. Dang, what in the world? I wasn't begging for money. I was just pointing out if you wanted to, if you wanted to get a little extra, because I do post my my walking videos and such on Patreon and YouTube members and uh, Nexus members and all that kind of stuff. Uh, any extra video I do goes on there. You can you can definitely definitely help me out there if you want to get a little extra content. It's not guaranteed. And it's not every week. It's not every day. But I wasn't expecting a fifty dollar tip. Holy moly! Uh, dang. Uh, thank you, anonymous, whoever that was. I appreciate it flushing that $50 right down the drain. Uh, that goes straight to my PayPal as well. So that's good. I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate it. Thanks very much for that. Much appreciated. J-Rock, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Hope you're doing well, sir. Hope you're doing well. How'd your trucking Tuesday go yesterday? Hope it went well. Voltage, what's up, buddy? That was you. Oh, well, I appreciate it, Drew. Heck yeah. I just said anonymous. So I wasn't going to try to call nobody out. Uh, true, I appreciate the $50 tip. Throw some hearts and plungers from Golden TP in chat. Uh, much appreciated, buddy. Much appreciated. Heck yeah. And y'all, uh... Keeping, keeping me doing what I'm doing. I know it's hard on everybody, man. I know groceries and, and, and life in general, fuel prices and everything is just outrageous right now. So uh, while I don't I don't expect anybody to do anything, I appreciate everything that everybody does because this is all I do. So uh, it is very much appreciated. Uh, that's a sub. I don't know where it went, though. It didn't show it to me. It just said one of five. Uh, much appreciated. I don't know. Uh, I don't know who it was, but I appreciate it. Those some hearts and blunders going to P and chat for our our re up of a sub. I bet it was Trues because True said that uh, he re upped his sub earlier today. So I bet it was Trues coming through there, trying to stay cool, dude. Good luck with that. Middle the middle America right now is like the seventh layer of Dante's Inferno, man. <laughs> it's it's bad out there right now. Uh, I am not, uh, I'm not super happy about it. Miss Deuce is even less happy about it because her air is not going to be fixed until Friday in her car. So, and Friday is supposed to be a hundred, uh, plus the heat index and humidity. Welcome back. Voltage resubbing with that Twitch Prime for 10 months. It may have been Voltage that did it. May have been. Thank you for using that Twitch Prime for 10 months of sub support. Much appreciated. You could use that Twitch Prime anywhere on Twitch. Uh, you could use that. Su How do I usually say that? Uh, thanks for using that su uh, that that Prime sub here. When you could use it anywhere else on Twitch, it shows the crappiest place you could find. I think that's normally how I do it. Uh, thank you so very much, Voltage. Much appreciated. Those are some hearts and plungers and gold TP in chat. Been doing lots of walking and biking to get where I need to go. Uh, 
If it's further than 20 miles, especially in this heat, uh, then it's no point. Dude, I can't, I can't walk that far. Like I might, I might have three good miles in me, which luckily is as far as I need to go most of the time. Which I don't, I don't walk to town just because we're on a highway. So uh, I would like to, I would, I would like to be able to walk into town and get stuff, but it's just too far, too far down the highway. Like it's direct down the highway path. There's no other way to get there. So, oh for sure, good exercise. Yeah, uh, I've been trying to get around and walk in the morning. That way I don't have to do it in the afternoon. But I slept in this morning, so. I did. I did not get. I did not get my walk in this morning, and I'm probably not. I'm probably not going to bother with it this afternoon either. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get it in the morning, I guess, and make up for the make up the difference, hopefully. But yeah, dude, absolutely. If you can walk, um, if you if you're able to to get out and walk, of course, it's good. And especially if you can save money on fuel, uh, getting getting out and uh, and doing it that way is definitely a good way to go. Um. Saving, saving your fuel money and uh, getting some exercise too. Sur sur suburban rural routes. Yeah, I mean, if that's what it was, I would definitely go. But, I mean, it's not a major highway. It's even more dangerous. It's one of those Mississippi two-lane two -lane road highways. So nobody obeys the speed limit, you know. Everybody's on their phone because there's hardly any traffic. So I'm, I'm, just a, I'm just afraid to walk down the road around here, man. <laughs> uh, I don't. I just don't. I don't trust people. I know that's probably bad. I just don't trust folks, man. I just can't do it. Yeah, if we if we lived in town, dude, I would never. I don't think I'd ever drive. I'd just walk. Even even if it was like going to grab lunch at one of the fast food places, it's still closer to walk than it would be to get in the car and drive over to it. So. Uh, if if we lived in town, but we live outside of town, so it's a little bit a little bit further of a go. Um, and I don't know that I want to, would want to live right in downtown. I know we live in a community, like we have we live in a, a subdivision, but uh, it's it's still you know it's still nice because we're not in the in the busyness of downtown or whatever. I guess I guess that's the way I should say it. You should be hearing game sound, yeah. It's not super loud. It's this isn't this isn't as loud as it is on YouTube. That's for sure. Uh, and I probably could turn the game sound, the vehicle sound up, or the music down. I probably could turn the music down a little bit. Let's just turn the game sound up a little bit. I'm okay with that actually. Game sound. Where is the game sound? Here? No. Here? That one. That one. Volume. Here we go. Vehicle volume. Environment volume's off, and it didn't help the bird any, so we're going to turn the volume, uh, environment back up, too. Uh, GUID is probably fine. I'll put in a little save there. We'll try that and see how that looks. That's probably better. Uh, so I've been, I've, been, I've been actively trying to turn my volumes up so that my game volume is closer to my voice. So uh, I probably should have turned the farm sim up a while back. Yeah, no, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Like I said, I've been I've been actively trying to get my game volumes. I've got a compressor on my output anyway, so if it goes over a certain point, it's going to stop it. So uh, that's the idea behind it anyway. It may not do it correctly, but um, I've been actively considering every time I start a game where it's hitting on my meters and trying to get them all about the same level. So yeah, it was substantially lower than the YouTube stream for sure. You've been struggling with audios using the NDI. What are you using? Or what are you doing? Did you change your setup around or same thing you were doing? You just giving you fits or? I forgot how fast this planner was. This thing is crazy fast, but uh, I'll be happy so we can start skipping some days here so we can make some money. Uh, Trying to get rid of the virtual mixer. Ah, okay, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, it would be nice to have a physical mixer mounted on a on a uh, rack right here next to me. I just reach over and turn knob. I love knobs. I like analog. But I am super thankful to have this Wavelink with some, some good basic software. Um, 
and all programs to the Stream Deck, so I've got buttons there if I need them, but uh, I, would, I would much rather have analog. Uh, but considering this was a gift, uh, and it's what I had on my wish list anyway, this was the easier of the options to, to pick up and get going with, so. There we go. Man, that was, that was cumbersome to get turned around there. What's up, Bob? How's it going, buddy? He pulled a deuce. He's touching stuff. Yep. Got to quit touching stuff. Um, virtual audio mixing is not cutting it. Are you using, uh, what are you using, banana and then, like, the cables or whatever? Is that what you've been doing? Oh, also, Bubbly D, if I tab out, there's no game sound either. So if, while I was tabbing out a while ago, you probably didn't hear any game sound. I just thought about that. Um, yeah, if I tab out, it doesn't doesn't keep the game sound. Well, now the bird now the bird doesn't sound as loud. Thinking about it, we got everything else turned back up. That and the virtual plugs, yeah, the virtual plugins. So I tried it. Um, it's 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 actually not bad to use. It's not bad to set up if you have any idea about mixing whatsoever. Uh, if you if you have if you've run the the soundboard at your church or your local local venue for like two days uh, and you watch a YouTube video, you can figure out voice meter banana. But uh, it is definitely uh, it's still way better to actually have physical knobs and such for sure. Let me get some more seed. We're out of the seed. Uh oh, what's happening here? What's what's up? What's what's going on? We don't have seed in here. Seeds three thousand. Yeah. What's what's the dealio? Do I have to hook up to the other end of it? I have to fold it up, maybe. Huh, weird. Okay, well, let's go hook up to the other end of it and see. Maybe I have to be hooked up to this end. That's kind of weird. But yeah, it's it's not... It's, there's nothing wrong with it, uh, for sure. Lots of people still do it to this day. Uh, I don't see a problem with it at all, but I would definitely say that if you can... Oh, okay. That's all it was. Uh, we just had to hook up to this end. I'd definitely say if you can get a physical mixer, that's the way to go. Yeah. For sure. And that goes for anybody that does anything on the computer. Um, if you have any sort of... Any sort of task that requires multiple sound inputs, uh, buy you a little $100 mixer and use that. Oh, we need to unfold. Keep forgetting. All right, that variable seed rate, we're saving seed, so that's a good thing. Like the push buttons, yes, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, I was going to go with the uh, a Yamaha, a Yamaha 8-channel mixer uh, before I got this, or before this came out, before the Wavelink came out. That was definitely what I was going to go with. Uh, and then the wavelength came out, and I was like, "Nah, eh. this is, for digital stuff, man. This wavelength looks really good." So, uh, I'm pretty happy about it, though. I, I like the uh, I like the wavelength. I think it's I think it's great for anybody that's making content. It's all simple. It's basic, and there's plugins for it now, so you can do 31 band EQs. You can do uh, compressors and, and gates and, and uh, uh, limiters and duckers and all kinds of stuff now. So. It's not just limited to just pin your channels and then off you go. There's a whole bunch more to it now, so. so that's good to see. They've come a long way with it. Not real sure why my camera's not working though. What's going on there? Ah, man. 
That's gonna be nice. Oh, hang on. Let's check this too. I didn't think about this. Uh, yeah, the uh, the nitrogen level is quite high because we we did it again where we uh, fertilized before we planted. So I gotta make sure we plant first and then fertilize. Because it's not about how many times you fertilize and what the little blue thing shows. Now it's about your pH level. So got to keep that in mind. Gotta keep that in mind. I'm gonna be pretty happy to get this done though. So we can skip and see how much money we make. Uh, Cause I wanna get, I wanna get some more money made, uh, but I definitely need to get some more sugar beet in there. Uh, I wanna get some more money made so that we can, we can put down another sugar plant uh, or buy another field. I think buying another field probably is gonna be the way to go first. Uh, even if it's a small one. I say a small one. Uh, even if it's like 22, right? It's 120,000. 20 would be good, but 22 is about the same size as ours. So we need to ride over there and check 22 out and uh, see see just how uh, how usable it's going to be, I reckon. What's up, Battery? How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Yeah, turning the volume up on the, on the engine made the bird more bearable, I think. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. I just printed the page. Oops. Screenshot. I hit the wrong button. Print screen. That's not what I wanted to do. Where'd that go to? I don't know where my print screens go. <laughs> it went somewhere, though. It went somewhere for sure. pushing buttons again I'm pushing the wrong buttons again every time man every time I don't know why I even bother just don't push buttons if I, I mean I should just not push anything I should just not push buttons at all I don't think man 11 miles an hour this sucker's moving isn't it hey Yeah, this sucker's moving for 11 miles an hour. Never push the red buttons, though. I learned that. I've watched enough uh, leverage librarians and um, Scorpion and uh, Men in Black to know you never push the red button. Needs to be a quote, stop That's touching stuff. Should be. Follow. There should be a quote for that. What's up, Nass? How's it going? Thank you for the uh, the follow there, bud. Hectic Nasari over on YouTube. Fantastic channel. Exploding channel. Even, I gotta take all this seed and stuff back over there. Put it up, don't I? Gotta do. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna return this. Uh, that's not, that's not seed, that's lime. This is the seed. Uh, let's, let's fill, let's fill up, oh no, that's fertilizer. Ah, crappers. Alright, well. There we go. Let's do it that way then. There we go. Alright, now let's, let's go return that. Uh. Return. There we go. Okay, we're going to turn that off for now. Uh, I want to go take our fertilizer and our seed and put it over in the... Put it over in the thing, I think. 
been a while since you've been on Twitch. Glad you were able to catch it. Yeah, man, absolutely. I appreciate you jumping over with us. Especially for folks that aren't, that aren't normally on Twitch. Uh, a lot of people don't like watching on Twitch, which is perfectly understandable. A lot of people don't like watching on YouTube. Perfectly understandable. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm glad you could jump over here with us. All right, we got a fertilizer dumped in there. Seed dumped in there. Probably go ahead and dump our lime in there too, I guess. Our lime's actually okay for now. It's not. It's not like it's going anywhere. Did not mean to turn my headlights on. Thank you very much. What is our? What is? Our, what, are, what are we sitting at with lime right now? Doo, 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 doo. Uh, Thirty-six thousand. We got. We got plenty of lime in there, I guess. Um, by the time we cultivate again, we're going to have to have more lime anyway. So, if we cultivate again, we'll have more stones. Maybe. More stones to pick up. Yeah, I just want to take a minute and get all this, uh, get all this situated over here. Two, <laughs> 200... 200 liters of lime. I really need to start dropping these over close to the the thing, I reckon. The, uh, what's that thing called? The silo? That button. Yeah, that one. That button. I was reading the reading back through chat and I saw button. I said button. Run the kids all over town? Although I've ca caught more streams this week than I can normally catch. I understand. It's weird how that happens sometimes, isn't it? Like the busiest days, you find yourself actually, con you know, making contact with people again that you that you don't get to every so, you know, but every so often. So, well, man, I sure am glad you got to get to swing by and hang out. Uh, I don't know if you had a premiere this morning or not. I typically try to catch him if I'm awake, but uh, I slip in this morning. So, that's a new follower. Mild Chip, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Mild Chip as opposed to one chip, I guess. Yeah, before you before you popped in, uh, Nass, we were talking about the the heat and stuff, and uh, Miss Deuce's air is out in her vehicle, and the the uh, it's under warranty, and the only time they could get her in was Friday, so she's having to go all week without air, uh, and it's something. And there's a leak somewhere. We tried filling it back up. We tried using the dye, couldn't find it, and I don't want to get into trying to rebuild a. Uh, I'm not very mechanically inclined, but. Uh, uh, I, I, I didn't even want to try to attempt to try to rebuild anything, especially if it was under warranty. So, um, 100 degrees down here, and she's having to drive around without air. I feel bad for her. She comes home, and then she's got uh, she's taking master's classes too, so she's always busy doing something. Um, but this week, especially <laughs> having to having to fight 100 degree heat on the way home. But uh, I don't I don't care the way I'll roll the windows down. I mean, I'll I'll just I'll just suffer through it. I hate for her to have to do it though. A new achievement guide. Hey, man, that's that's something I need. <laughs> now, now we're talking the same language. Heck yeah. Uh, do I need... I don't necessarily need the trailer. I am going to use the beat cutter, though. So let's just let's just park that there and quit wasting fuel. Because I think we are good. Let's go check our levels here real quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got way too much on here. We got way too much on expected yield though is 99 uh 99 percent 99 uh whatever that is i don't know 100 um yes yeah, because we put too much fertilizer on it so our nitrogen levels are too high but our ph level is perfect 
Uh, I want to go look at field 22 over here. And it's just across there, so we're just gonna run, gonna run across. I'll just run it. I don't have super speed or anything on, so. Oh yeah, 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 for sure, Ness. Yeah, if you're if you're anywhere, like, like J Rock mentioned it too, they're they're up in Michigan. Him and Bob both are. And if you're anywhere in the middle of the country right now, it's 100 degrees. I mean, that's just you know, that's just the way it is. Which is honestly pretty wild. The last the last time I did outdoor shows was 19, 2019, because in 2020, of course, is when the shutdown started. And the last show that I did was inside. Uh, and then the last show I set up for that got canceled was inside. So the last time I did an outdoor show was <laughs> three years ago. Uh, I would not fare well right now if I... Man, I gotta get out of here. Uh, I would not fare well right now if I had to go back to work, uh, which... It, Given, given the strain of of the financial situations that everybody's under, I may have to. So, um, pretty sure it just outright ruined my kidneys uh, from going and being dehydrated for hours at a time. Uh, but I may have to do it. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know why, man, but I sweat. And I always have my entire life. I sweat an, an astronomical amount when I'm outside. All right, so this is 22. It's actually pretty open. Uh, it's on a hill, but that that we can live with. It's one hundred twenty thousand. Where does it go to? Um, yeah, I don't know why, man, but I sweat a lot. I drink a lot of water when I'm outside. Uh, I've always been that way too. It's not new. Is this is this tree? Is this the property line? I bet it is. I bet it's the road here. Yeah, the road's the property line on both sides. Uh, tree line on that side. And then road on this side. Okay. So that's a that's a pretty decent sized field. It's not bad. It's not terrible. That's not a terrible sized field at all. Mm, this and the other field both full of sugar beet would be really nice. Looks like it goes yeah, it comes up to this road here. And it cut over right here somewhere. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say right here probably is where it cut off. And it comes up to this road. And then it kind of follows this road around. Then it goes straight over to the tree line. Kinda. It curves off the very end of the road though. So let's keep going. It kind of curves off right there. And I bet this tree line right here is not part of it. Somebody's is... raiding the outhouse. Quick, get the TP. Hey, Mr. Multi Maltese Spanza, thank you for the raid. Much appreciated. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, so this is the border of this one on this side. Uh, good to see you. Thank you for dropping in on the raid there, Panda. Much appreciated. Uh, let me see if I can. Let's see if I can do this. I may not be able to. There we go. Uh, Panda was also playing Farm Sim 22. I wanted to see what you were playing before I said anything. I assumed you were playing Farm Sim 22, but I wasn't real sure. Smoodalini. Man, I ain't seen that name in a while. Well, I have, just under uh, under Frithgar's comments. <laughs> uh, what's up, Smoodo? How's it going? With the stretch. I just got started, or I would. All right, let's go. Let's just jump back to the house. I'll cheat. This whole this whole playthrough is about learning this stuff. So, either Farm Sim 22 or Snowrunner. I mean, both good games, both good games for sure. I think we can all agree on that. I think we can all agree. Both really good games. All right, so uh, 121 in production cost. We do have weeds again, so we're gonna have to get the weeder out and uh, spray. Uh, because I sprayed beforehand, so again, we don't need to do that. Been torturing the Kung Fu Panda now. Now it's your turn. Oh no, that's not that's not good for us. I don't think <laughs> that's not good for us at all. All right, we still got spray in there. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and get unfolded. Yes, Mudo, hope you've been doing well, man. 
Uh, let's see. We go. Then we'll do this. Then we'll go auto width. Make sure that's owned. There we go. And we'll go around the outside one time. Just to make sure we get all the edges. And then we'll come back and, and lock on everything. <laughs> Please don't introduce as well. <laughs> uh, heck yeah. Uh, what what map are you on, Penny? You probably told me that last time. Um, but I forgot. My, my memory's as good as a snail, so... Kraybach, German map. Cool. Uh, I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, I've looked at a lot of the maps on there, uh, but not not recently. So. Small, but the fields cost some. Yeah, so this one right here is kind of the same way, man. This Nova Estancia. Uh, like, if we look at Area 1 right here, right, it's a pretty big area. All right, considering there's only, you know, 21 fields. It's a pretty big area, but it costs seven hundred and thirty-seven thousand dollars. Like it's it's actually quite quite expensive. So yeah, this is the this is the sea and spray for the weeds. Yeah, this is the um, uh, what's it called? Precision farming DLC. So you can see it. It's only spraying where the where the weeds actually are, uh, and it automatically does it, which is nice. Yeah. But yeah, this is the Cavernland, but it falls under the, the, um, it's got the, uh, precision farming attachment to it, I guess is what I should say. I know you know that, but just for everybody else. Uh, the, the sprayer itself is a Cavernland mod, uh, but it's got the sea and spray attached to it. Yeah. It does, it does. Yeah, I, so Smudo, I had, I, I, they're still active. I haven't deactivated them yet, but they're not, they're not in play. I should say that. Uh, I've got, I've got some, some things you can purchase with channel points that make me use the smallest equipment possible for whatever job I'm doing. But I've got, I, I have mentally disabled those for this map. I'm not, uh, I'm not using, I'm not recognizing those get redeemed. So I don't recommend redeeming them. Uh, but for No Man's Land, it was kind of fun because we did a lot of grass mowing and I'd have to go get the little hand walking mower thing and, and mow with it for an hour. So it was kind of fun, but I'm, I'm trying to come up with some new ones for the single player. But yeah, the Cavernlin um, is... Uh, but yeah, I know you know what it is better. You you know you're the one that showed me how to do all this stuff. Uh, it is so it's just a mod. Uh, it's not part of any kind of. I think it's a Cavernland pack, but uh, the IX I extra. Oh wait a minute, I extra uh, eighty eight something or other. I don't I don't know. I didn't get to read it all. But yep, I can't even ban <laughs> ban, ban a word anymore. Nope. I took that one off there. Uh, I couldn't do it. I gave up. Uh, when we changed over to No Man's Land, I put some new ones on there, and then I got to change them out again. So uh, I know it's kind of cheating because I'm the one that put them on there, and then I'm like, nope, can't use those. But uh, well, well, we'll all live. We'll all survive. <laughs> I'm gonna come up with some new ones at some point. Look out for the tree every time, man. I just I'm always always about to run over a tree. hand pulling the weeds oh man that'd be awful wouldn't it oh trees every every time trees okay now it's stairs in a building let's let's just let's just back up that got real weird uh real quick <laughs> there we go i got real real weird real quick whoops
But yeah, so so far, uh, battery. This is the only mod I've seen uh, that has the. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna show you in the store where it says the. Uh, so if you go to it, it, it says weed spot spraying on or off. So uh, I'm assuming that the other in-game stuff doesn't have that yet. So I'm, I'm guessing that uh, somebody probably somebody probably reconfigured the mod after the precision farming came out. That's the only thing I could really think of, so. Uh, to make it work for this. You found it mod up. All right, cool. Yep. Uh, I like the sprayer, though. The Converlin sprayer, not only does it look good, um, it, it functions really well. It's got three different size settings you can choose from, so. You get the 18 meter uh, up to a 24 meter, so. It's a streamer disease. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It, it happens to all content creators. I feel, I feel like it's not just me, okay? I'm not the only one. I mean, I, prob I probably am one of the few, but. Hey, what's up, Brandon? How's it going, buddy? Hope you're doing well. I'm just going to back up. And, uh, yeah, we should be on this row right here anyway. So. There we go. Uh, and until they update and put the, um, uh, get the game to where it saves your hotkeys again, I'm not even, I'm just playing with my wheel. I mean, I'm playing with my keyboard until they get that done. Just trying to set all my buttons up every single time is just not fun. It's just not fun re resetting buttons every single time. Oh, it's fantastic build quality, right? Yeah, hitting trees and everything else, and all it does is stop the tractor. It doesn't even break the break the arms on it. So you know, you know the Cavernland's built well. You know it's built well. If it'll if it'll hold up to that. Kind of looks like a steam piano thing. No, Bob answered it though. Yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a real it's a real piece of equipment. Uh, apparently, some kind of sensors or something. To I don't know. I, I don't. I'm just trying to make stuff up now. I have no idea how it actually works, but I know they exist. I know they exist. Clarkson Farm Season 2 will premiere early next year. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> if any equipment can handle you driving, it's a really good buy. Come on, man. I'm not the worst driver. I mean, I might be, but I'm going to pretend I'm not the worst one. <laughs> Battery said worst driver. Yeah, see, I'm not the worst. Just close. Close to the worst one. I'm not exactly the worst. Just close to the worst. I need to change my coal. I think. Given prices, I'm... I'm probably just going to have to suffer through nicotine withdrawals and quit vaping. Definitely not going back to smoking, though. Man, that was a terrible idea. Smoking's terrible for you. Not telling anybody else what to do, by the way. Just saying. <laughs> when you're rippy motors, your truck smoking. I mean, I guess that's true, battery. Yeah. <laughs> Top number one of number one in the world of bad driving? I don't know, man. You need to go hang out with Battery more often and watch him. Me and Battery are not even close to the same, but Battery likes to say he's the worst driver, but I don't know, man. Maybe maybe we just need to find out. Maybe we need to get together and, and, and do some trucking one night and we'll see who's worse. <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's what needs to happen. 
We just need to find out once and for all who the worst driver is. How's the weather in Mississippi right now? Hot. It's hot. Which all through the middle of middle of America right now is hot. So uh, it says 94. Let me see. Let me pull up the humidity level and everything here. Hang on. Oh man, my computer, my computer apparently reset. Kids did too overnight, and uh, Firefox logged me out of absolutely everything. So I had to go through and log back in everything this morning. And between authenticator apps and text messages and a and hundred different websites that I'm logged into, it took a while. Let's see. All right, so weeds are sprayed, so we're good there. So we are 96 degrees. Uh, humidity level and everything is 109. So pretty, pretty warm, pretty warm. Pretty warm out there today. All right, there we go. That's done. Now, Southern Illinois, probably the same temperature. Yeah, it's probably pretty close to the same, man. It feels like 103 with 68% humidity. I don't even know what the percentage of humidity is. I just know that it says it feels like 109, which would be the humidity and everything. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Uh, apparently, we're going to be expecting some strong tornadoes this afternoon. That's not good. But you I mean the way the heat is, it makes sense. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I have to check, like, another, uh, another, um, uh, well, I, I check the weather channel. I normally check three or four different ones if it's important. But. 95 feels like 100. Yeah, I mean, it's hot. Like I said, it's just hot, man. If you're, in a, if you're, if you're not on the coast right now, on the east or west coast, it's just hot. Yeah, it's just hot. Seven years, Smudo. Uh, I quit March of 2020. I ran out and just decided not to go get any more. But I do vape, so there's that, I guess. All right, made some more money. Let's see. Let's see what kind of money we're making a day here. This is something we got to keep an eye on. Uh, so we made 18,000. So we made 16,000 there, 15,000 there. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see. See about our production. Uh, we are getting bad low on sugar beet. So yeah, by the time we get done skipping, we're gonna we're gonna need we're gonna need more. Let's go ahead and repay more of that, uh, which we may have to borrow some more of it, depending on how much we we make here. But I need to sleep some more. Twister is a great movie. Yeah, uh, going to the new Jurassic Park movie tonight. Not Twister. <laughs> Uh, Twister's a fantastic movie. I gotta go. We got cows. Another cow. I think that's the same cow. Uh, Twister is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah, absolutely. Great film. All right, let's see where we're at now. So we made 16,000 more. And we have, uh, enough sugar beet to get through one more day, it looks like. And we're going to have to borrow money to, to lease anyway, I think. If we can get one more good day of 16 grand, I think we're okay. <laughs> Bubbly D. <laughs> uh, man, what a great movie. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. Uh, the movie um, with um, Bruce Campbell that came out the same year that was about tornadoes. That wasn't a bad movie. Uh, the CGI and stuff was not as good, but it wasn't a bad movie. It was pretty good. What's up, Pizza? How's it going? Good to see you. All right, so we made 14. So yeah, we lost, we lost some of our, we lost the sugar beet. Um, and we have more sugar cane to put in there. Let's go move some sugar cane over. Oh, 
Oh, we didn't. No cables, I guess, this time. Um, so we got two or three more days here, but uh, there is no. Oh, you know what? I don't even know how to get in there right now because I can't drive on my crop. Uh, I guess I'll come back around here. We'll move what we can move, I guess. Very hot and humid. Uh, same, same. It's it's very warm. Very warm. Yeah. <laughs> it's very warm out there. Yeah, Adam ruins everything on some topics is is cherry picked though man like i can i can debunk some of his videos and i'm just a hillbilly from mississippi that knows nothing so uh but i do agree it's still bad for you it may be worse we don't know because it hasn't been around that long so uh it's it's not any better i just know i feel better after i put down the actual cigarettes so um uh, But yeah, yeah, it, it's still not better for you. That's for sure. Uh, do I feel better? Yes. Can I breathe better? Absolutely. Uh, is it is it clogging my, my arteries and stuff? Probably. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, have a good one. Stay cool. Got to coach uh, softball game. All right, man. Uh, enjoy yourself. Softball sounds fun. Uh, enjoy yourself, see, dude. Thank you for popping in. Went to the beach, Florida last week for vacation. Actually pretty nice in the 80s, 90s all week. Oh, dude, 90s, yeah, 80s and 90s in Florida is a whole different deal, isn't it? It's just fun. It just feels good. Thought I, thought I made that a little bigger. Get around here, maybe. Um, had a storm. Uh, had one storm, second to the last day we were there. Uh, come home, the humidity's 100 plus days. Yeah. I feel like you're melting, dude. It's terrible, man. The last time we went anywhere was like 2017, I think. We went down to uh, Daytona. Uh, and we were there for a few... I'm not going to make that turn. Uh, we stayed in Daytona for three or four days and then went down to Orlando and went to the water park. Uh, in Orlando. That's the last time we went anywhere. Oh. Oh, okay. We made it. All right, good. Uh, but it was, it was like 90, 95 in the water park all day. But it was great, man. Uh, it was so much fun. I was sunburned. Oh man, I was burnt. It was terrible. It was terrible, but uh, it was a lot of fun though. I feel like just being anywhere around the beach, I can handle 100 degree weather a lot better than I can in middle Mississippi. <laughs> I mean, so so a lot of the stuff, like the points he he's getting across with Adam and everything is fine, right? Like I don't I don't have any problem with that. There's 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 definitely arguments to all of those. I just think that that some of it, just like everybody else, some of it is is kind of skewed, you know, for for entertainment purposes. So, uh, the message is there, though, for sure. Well, John Oliver's comedy, though, or mostly comedy, I guess. Barn burner. Heck yeah. Is it clog out? I mean, seriously, I mean, it's, 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 it, vaping is, is oils, right? And oils get in your, get in your veins and your bloodstream and stuff. I mean, it's, it, you know, it's probably bad for you. It's probably just as bad as smoking. It could be worse than smoking. Again, it hadn't been around long enough, man. We don't know. There's, there's not enough long-term study on vaping to know just how bad it is for you. But do I condone it? Absolutely not. Uh, am I glad that I, that I put the cigarettes down? Yeah, because I was vaping and smoking, so. But yeah, I'm super happy I put the cigarettes down, for sure. That was actually easier than trying to back out of here. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I know it's a small trailer. We're only moving 12,000 at a time, but I got to get some more moved over there, and I, I can't lease anything at the moment, so. 61,000 over there. I got 117,000 left over, so we got some more to move. Definitely. Uh, it would be nice to run straight across the field, but I don't want to kill my crops. This is what, exactly what we would do if we did, so. What else you got for trivia for Twister? Battery, I want to see how good the chat is. We got about uh, 10 more trips. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Your mom wants to quit, but she doesn't have the energy or will to do so. She tried once, but wanted to punch somebody's head off. Uh, so, so that's something a lot of people that have never smoked right and and people that that don't so a lot of people can just put stuff down and never touch it again um but a lot of people have an addictive personality and it's so much harder for them to quit anything uh and i and i think that's that's where kind of the misconception of it is we'll just stop them right it's hard for some people man like the the chemical imbalance in your brain at this point is 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 serious and it's real so i feel for it, i do uh, I haven't gotten off of nicotine completely myself either, so. Off now? All right, Panda, have a good one. I appreciate the raid. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. If you guys haven't, go follow uh, Mr. Maltese Panda. Hang out for some more farming sim. Or Snow Runner. Said both. Yep, 10 more trips, or nine more trips now, I guess. Nine more trips back and forth here. Yeah, and it's tough, it's tough pizza. It's tough for, for a lot of folks. Um, I mean, having willpower is one thing, uh, but getting 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 people to help you out with it too is another, you know. Uh, and I think that's I think that's where the I think that's where the disconnect happens. I don't I don't think people get the help they need most of the time. I'm one of those people though that I actually liked smoking, and it's bad. That's, you, you shouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> I enjoyed it though. You shouldn't enjoy it. It's a terrible habit. I definitely don't condone it for anybody. I'm not going to tell you you can't, because I can't tell other people what to do. I just don't suggest it. I think there's I think there's something to be said for some people um, staying clean pizza I don't I don't think it's a I, I don't think just because people have bad habits they're bad people right every everybody can get wrapped up in something or something or other with with drugs and alcohol so I mean I don't think it's I don't think it makes you bad people for sure Was it Bob's Road? Is that when they were on the back roads? I think that's right. I think it's when they were on the back roads. They were trying to find a way back to the highway. That road ended up in a field. Oh, it did. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so what city? What city was he talking about when he was saying, roll the maps, don't fold the maps? What city did it affect?
Yeah, I mean that's a whole nother equation too of it though, right, Pizza? I mean that's a whole that's a whole nother part of it too that you have to factor in. So. Anybody know what know what city had a crease right through it in the movie Twister? There's a crease right through Wichita. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Got the state right. All right, what cut of steak was Aunt May cooking for everybody? What cut of beef was that? Half a point. <laughs> Half a point. If you if you're just hanging out and you want to jump in, feel free to. Uh, while I'm running stuff back and forth, for some reason, Battery started some some uh, Twister trivia. So if you like the movie Twister uh, and you want to get in on this just for fun, you're more than welcome to. You don't know how to build with bricks before you reach a million people? Hey, man, our house was built in 63, and it's brick. Thank you. Uh, also, the, the town buildings here have been around for uh, at least since the 20s anyway, and they're all, they're all brick. Well, pretty much all of them are brick. So. A cookable meat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was a T-bone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was T-bone. I was, I was asking. I wasn't, I wasn't posing a trivia question there because I didn't remember either. But I'm pretty sure it was a T-bone. It was either T-bone, T-bone, T-bone or a sirloin. I was trying to say sirloin and T-bone together. Uh, it was either a top sirloin or it was a T-bone. It was a big one, whatever it was, a big cut of meat. I said May too. It was Meg. Uh, what item? Uh, what was the item made by Aunt Meg that provided pivotal to the end of the film? T T boy, yeah. <laughs> no, it was the wind whirly doos. It was the whirly do things for the wind. You heard the chimes, yeah. You hear the chimes, but you see the whirly doos. This is how long has I seen Twister? Man, I haven't seen it in a couple of years now, but it's just, I need to watch it. I normally, I used to watch it once a year, man. Since, since, I, since I was probably, 17 or 18 i watch a movie once a year what what is it hang on i gotta look now what's the twister movie with uh tornado movie movie bruce bruce campbell tornado it was called tornado it came out in 96 and had ernie hudson bruce campbell Shan shannon sturgis bo eason um shannon woodard it, it actually had a pretty good cast in it but it came out the same year as Twister. So, uh, yeah, May 7th of 96. It just got eclipsed by Twister. So, yeah, it was just called Tornado. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good call, Bubbly D. There you go. Yeah, it came out the same year, but man, did it get eclipsed by, by Twister. No, <laughs> that's exactly right. No tornado could survive contact with Bruce Campbell's chin. Hang on. I'm about to go tweet this out. Hang on a second. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I'm gonna tag Bruce in this. <laughs> Let's see if he actually responds to it. He does sometimes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. There we go. <laughs> oh. Alright, <laughs> seven, six more trips, I think. Six more is what we gotta get in. Uh, we are currently sitting at uh, 109,000 sugar cane in there. Uh, we're definitely going to plant some more sugar cane too, though. Uh, but, but considering I sold pretty much all my sugar cane, I didn't save any, uh, except for part of the last load, the next time we do sugar cane, we'll have plenty. We'll have plenty. Uh, and I may need to actually take a small piece of this land here uh, and just plant sugarcane on it and let it go because uh, I'm going to need both. I'm going to need sugar beet and sugarcane. And by the time by the time our sugarcane is ready to grow and cut, we're going to be out of sugar beet. Fried chicken does sound good right now, yeah. And we haven't done uh, we haven't done homemade chicken strips in a while. Doing uh, egg fried rice tonight. Uncle Roger would be proud. Oh, well, maybe not, cause I don't I don't use all the ingredients. I don't use chili jam though. So I use uh, I use sriracha. <laughs> no tornado can survive contact with Bruce Campbell's chin. Uh, you got so burnt uh, on your shoulders it looked like. Oh, that's the reason the fried chicken come in. It looked like you took a fried chicken and slapped it on my shoulder. That's terrible, man. That's bad for you. That's bad for you. I've I think I've gotten bubbles once. One time I was in Florida. Uh, when we were, I think I was 15, 14 or 15, we were on vacation. Me, me and my, my family and, and cousins and whatnot, I fell asleep in the pool and nobody woke me up. Uh, I was burnt, burnt. I mean, I was burnt, burnt. <laughs> now I want Chinese things, dude. Yeah, no problem. Uh, so I cooked a rice last night so that it would be uh, chilled and cooled in the fridge. Dude, Bruce Campbell is phenomenal, and and he. So so people that don't, uh, that that don't have. Um, a big love for Bruce Campbell, right? They see his movies and they're like, oh man, these crap B-rated movies. But Bruce Campbell's phenomenal, man. I love that guy. I follow him on Twitter. He's fantastic. He's always posting funny stuff. Sun poisoning. Yeah, dude, that's bad. That's bad for sure. But yeah, did uh, did our rice last night. I'm gonna do up uh, a couple of batches of of egg fried rice tonight using the wok. Get the wok hay in there. If you guys have never watched uh, Nigel Ung, Uncle Roger on YouTube, uh, I highly recommend it. If you like cooking critiques at all, Uncle Roger's the one to watch. <laughs> and if you haven't heard of Uncle Roger by now, then I don't I don't know what you're doing with your life, honestly. Joss Whedon was hired to fix the script for Twister. I did not know that. Oh, wow. Okay. 
I had no idea. How are we doing here? 133. We should have enough sugar cane to get the sugar beet in. But by the time we're done with sugar or beet, we're going to be out of sugar cane. Or we're going to be, by the time the sugar cane's ready to harvest, we're going to be out of sugar beet again. Man, this is a, this is a tough, this is a tough situation here. What did I get last time? 255,000? Something like that. So when we go to harvest, instead of putting it in here and transferring it back and forth again, we're just going to go straight uh, with the sugar beet. We're going to do 125,000 straight. Or 140,000. 140,000, I think. 140,000 straight into the bin. And then we're going to do... Um, we're going to move the trailer up there. Because uh, we've got a modded uh, auger wagon that does cut sugar beet straight through the pipe. So we're going to move our trailer over there and then dump into it. And uh, just let it cut sugar beet straight in. That way we don't have to go into the silo and then back and forth across and all that stuff again. So we can just go straight into it. When we get ready to harvest this, we'll make sure we run it um, across here and open up open up a space so we can dump. Uh, yeah, we're in the early stages still. We still got way we got way more days to go. So we're about to take a hit on our money, um, but we're pretty close to being able to afford the um, the lease for leasing this stuff. So that's a good thing. Yeah, last night we did... What did we do last night? Oh, we made chicken, uh, chicken... Chicken... Chicken pesto pasta last night with some llama beans. Pretty good. Oh, I know what else I'm doing. Uh, we're doing the... Doing the egg fried rice, but I'm gonna throw some, um... Some sautéed zucchini in there. I'm gonna do some zucchini in the wok. And then put my egg back in. And then throw the rice in and, and do it all together. Instead of doing the veggies separate. Picked up some uh, zucchini at the farmer's market last Thursday. Which I'd like to run over there again tomorrow. Just see if I can get some fresh tomatoes. But uh, price wise, it's it's about the same price as like, going to Walmart or something. But at least we're buying fresh, buying local. So I bought way too many squash though. I know that. I've got to use those squash before they go bad. I bought way too many. Glad I was able to catch the stream again. Yeah, dude, absolutely. Time to head out. I, I understand. Probably gonna get fried chicken and Chinese for dinner. Hey, get some. Uh, get you some of the. Uh, what was it sweet and sour chicken? That'll get both, right? It's kind of fried chicken and Chinese. <laughs> All right, Nas, have a good one. I appreciate you hanging out with us. Something I want to do when the gas prices go back down, <coughs> if the gas prices ever go back down, uh, I want to go over to um, uh, um, Butter Beans Barbecue. I want to go over there. It's only about an hour and 20 minutes for me. Uh, I want to go over to Butter Beans Barbecue and eat at his joint, if it's still open. I don't know if it's still open or not. but I'd love to go over there. That'd be fun. I can't remember if it's in Jasper or somewhere around Jasper, Alabama, but it's right around there somewhere. I think it's Jasper. It's where he's from, so it makes sense. And if you don't know who Butterbean, what, what, who I'm talking about, uh, Butterbean, the, the king of the four rounders, the tough man guy that, big old fat dude that always wore the American flag boxer shorts. guy that built mobile homes and was taking pro boxing matches at the same time. Oh, man. Uh, he's got a barbecue joint in Alabama. We'll go over there and hang out, eat, do what the place is like, see how good the food is. There's a moment twisted that shows the TV screens going black and displaying the erratic static. I remember that. 
Uh, that was a real thing that would happen to analog TVs when a tornado was near, but only on Channel 2. I didn't know that. I had no idea. I had no idea. Reply to a message real quick. I think we're full, aren't we? Yeah, I had no idea better. I didn't know that was a thing. Of course, when I was when I was little though, we didn't have cable. We had the we had the basic, you know, uh, TV antenna bunny ear type things with a tinfoil on them and everything. Um, but if there was bad weather around, we had the radio on. We'd turn the radio on and then we'd be in the bathroom. Well, me and mom would. Dad be outside on the porch, but. Super trivia. Who wrote the original scripts for Twister? I have no idea. I have no clue. Not even a guess. I, I can't even. I can't even begin to think of who wrote the original. Oh, so something else I've been thinking about is. Um, Halo got a movie, right? Uh, lots of lots of other video games got movies. How come we don't have a farm sim movie? Yeah, I had no idea, man. I couldn't even wager to guess. Not even a little bit. I love the sounds these things make. So cool, man. They nailed the sounds for this. I need to put me a road down through there, don't I? I think I will, actually. After we make some more money. Right now, honestly, I feel like we're just kind of staying afloat. Even though I did pay off, like, 30000 in loan. Or I paid some on the loan, I guess. Yeah, I did pay some on the loan, so. A couple more trips, we'll be ready to ready to skip some more days. Be ready to skip some more days. Oh no, one more trip. Sweet. How much does that put in there too? Uh back up to 170,000 roughly. How far down are we on our loan now? 345,000? Yeah, if we if we don't start uh, keeping sugar beet in there, then we're going to be in trouble. I might take the bottom part of this field uh, and do sugar cane on it. Or maybe the top part of it right here. Because I just need an area that's going to keep regrowing. That's all I need. I may take this top part right here and do sugar cane. And do the rest of it in sugar beet. Yeah, we're definitely going to put in a road over here, though. Definitely got to put in a road. All right, there's the last 10,145 liters. There it goes.
There's actually a movie, uh, um, uh, a museum dedicated to the movie in Wakita. Really? Dang, man, if I ever make it out to the Midwest, I'm definitely going to go by there. One of my favorite things about going to the Hollywood Casino over in Tunica was uh, they had one of the one of the DeLoreans used in Back to the Future. And that was, I mean, let's just be honest, that was cool. <laughs> that was super cool to see. All right, let me run over and grab, actually, I don't think I'm, I'm going to run over and grab anything. I'm just going to go park the tractor. Because I'm pretty much done over here until this grows, so. Uh, what's up, Norman? How's it going? Good to see you. I'm doing well. I appreciate you asking. Yeah, if I ever make it out to the Midwest, I'm gonna have to go to Wa Wakita so I can so I can go to the museum. So so there's a few things in my life that I wanted. I wanted to see Johnny Cash live. That didn't happen. But I've seen his. Uh, I, I did the. I put up the stage when they had the Johnny Cash, um, the the first ever Johnny, the grand opening I think of his his birthplace, uh, his his birth house in Arkansas. Uh, so I got to see that. That was pretty awesome. Where where he grew up in the middle of the Delta over there in Arkansas, uh, the house he grew up in, pretty cool. Uh, I've seen Elvis Presley's birthplace uh, in Mississippi. Seen that. I've seen the the original DeLorean or one of the DeLoreans used in the movie for Back to the Future. So now I just got to write off going to Wakita, Oklahoma, to see the museum dedicated to Twister. Not that I have a bucket list, because I don't. I probably should. But, uh... Yeah, for right now. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I have seen. You're new? Uh, new to simulation games looking for people you can play with? Well, I'll tell you what. We have a, uh, a multiplayer server that is set up for crossplay. Uh, if you if you wanted to, you could jump in Discord and get all the info for it. Exclamation point Discord in chat there will get you there. Uh, it is open to the community, open to the public. Well, I say it's open to the public. It's open to the community because you got to have the password and, and all that kind of stuff. And it's all in Discord, but uh, it is it is open to the community though for sure. All right, here we go. We'll see how much how much money we're gonna not make this time around. Yeah, absolutely, Norman. Just do exclamation point Discord and uh, follow the welcome message. It'll tell you to assign roles. Assign the, the farm sim or truck sim or both and, and scroll on down and you'll see all the farm sim channels there. You're looking for the info channels. They'll have red exclamation points around them. So how close are we now? Yeesh. Getting closer, but we're taking a hit on the money, though. 6,000 that time. Uh, we did pay off quite a bit of loan. It didn't tell me how much in the loan I paid off, though, did it? Did I pay off or borrow? I paid off, didn't I? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, at least we'll have enough to, to lease the stuff we need. This is a lot lease, a lot less leasing here. I've only got to get the, the trailer and then the harvester and the header. Which I guess it's about the same as the other. Doing the sugar cane. Yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do sugar cane in half this field. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, we only made forty four hundred that time, or no, four thousand that time. Not good, not good. Yeah, we're definitely taking a hit here on money. Oh, snow, good, good, good. It's fantastic. No, every oh god there it comes no space in that just exclamation point discord no space it's definitely january great demand to debris crusher uh all right it's ready to go too so so what i'm probably going to do is i'm probably going to use uh i'm going to cut a straight line across here and then that'll be our road back and forth 
I'll just end up making a road there. This top part's gonna be sugar cane, this bottom part's gonna be sugar beet all the time. Uh, and I think that's probably gonna be a lot better. Uh, let's go make sure our uh, pH levels and stuff are good. pH nitrogen levels both still good. All right, cool. Oh man, we're gonna be harvested in the snow. Off to the store. Uh, we're I'm probably not gonna get done harvesting today. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'll get as far as I can though. All right, we need. Uh, actually, I don't need this yet. I'm gonna hold off on this. I will come get it when I need it. Let's go ahead and get the header. Sugar beet, beet technology. There we go. Lease that for five thousand. Then we're gonna go up here. That's potatoes. We're gonna grab this one. Uh, we'll set up GPS. Yes. Uh, as much as I don't want to. 26000 for that. So that's 31000 in lease costs so far. And that's just to get the beats. Out of the ground. That's not even to, to cut them. Now we could probably do something different with the sugar beet cutter. Because there's a little bucket thing you can get. I think that hooked him up, right? Okay. There we go. Off we go. Um, like, there's different sugar beet cutters, but I like having the, the auger wagon, just because I don't have to sit and wait on it. It literally takes it, and as it comes out of the auger wagon, cuts it up. So, pretty nice that way. Hope you have snow tires. Man, I'm telling you. Oh, now we're snow blind. God, that's bright, isn't it? Wow. This is this map right here has definitely been a struggle to get going. Whoa! Bob, you weren't kidding, man. We just slid around that turn. That's pretty wild. I wonder if the water freezes over. I don't think anybody's done that yet. Made it so that if it, in, in the wintertime the water actually freezes over. I know one thing, that looks pretty cool across there. That looks pretty neat. I can't wait to buy field, uh, area one right here. So we can extend our field up. Whoa, <laughs> we slid around again, don't see that? That's crazy. Oh man, that was wild. Uh, let's get these un unfolded here. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna do exactly what I said. We're gonna cut a line straight across uh, where I'm gonna have a road put in later. And we're doing 140,000 uh, unfold the header. I thought I did. Or did I fold it up? I think I may have folded it up. Yeah, Bob, we slid around those corners, man. That was wild. Red Assassin, how's it going? Good to see you. Oh, nope, down. Okay. Off we go. Be good to go here. Uh, you see the mini map, you see the colors. That's our yield. I'm gonna go ahead and get that one little piece right there too. Stay back in this line here. So this is gonna be my road straight back and forth so I can I can make those those runs over here to dump without killing my crops. That puts us at 16% full, too. That's pretty good. Okay. Easy. Oh, man, we just slid all over the place. Oh, oh, we're stuck. Oh, all right, there we go. Yeah, so I think I'm going to plant the top part of this field in sugar cane. And then we'll put the rest of it in sugar beets. 
The rest of that will go back to trigger meat. Also, I need to be using the GPS, I guess. Let's turn that on. Auto width on. Uh, offset reversal. Headland mode. No lines, line offset. How do I, how do I flip the... Uh, Oh, please create create or load a field first. What? Okay, how do I get that to rotate now? That's what I need to find. GPS. Uh, rotate track. Alt in. Okay. All right, there we go. Got it. Tons of Moon, how's it going? Good to see you. No problem, no problem. It was my fault. I know. I can't help it. I can't help it. Hi, right, Battery. Have a good one, bud. And you thought I was playing. No, dude, I, I honestly did. I didn't think anything about it. I was like, yeah, Bob being funny again. Slides around corner. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, I thought you were joking, Bob. And then we slid. And then I realized you were telling the truth. Slid everywhere, man. We can get straightened out here. I think we might actually be straight this time. There we go. It took a little extra doing there, didn't it? Yeah, I think I think the top part of this being planted in uh, sugar cane. That's enough sugar cane to keep us going, and I'm gonna need the rest of that just for sugar beet for sure. Um, we get way more sugar cane than we do sugar beet, so yeah, I think if we just go about doing it this way. Should have plenty. That bird is stinking loud. This machine right here is pretty loud too, though. Oh man, look at the wheels. When we go to stop, they just slide. Man, that's crazy. Oh, oh, oh we're sliding. Sliding down the hill. This is definitely not the best way, but this is the way I'm doing it for now. So I want to put about that amount of space of road in there. So um, I'll probably cut one line over there and then I'll paint everything. I'll try to get at least this part done today. I don't know that I will, but I'm going to try to. Yeesh. Slow down there. <coughs> Yikes. We got way off in the water. We should be able to make it to the end of this, although we are in the really, really good stuff here. So we're gonna get maximum, maximum sugar beets out of all this.
And if you're wondering how I know that, play with precision farming. If you look at the bottom right, uh, bottom left corner, you see the uh, green, yellow, light green, lime green colors. The darker the color, the better your yield. Basic, in a very basic sense. The darker, the better. All right, let's just go empty. Like I said, we'll go straight in here. Uh, this is 40, 44,000, so we need 100 more thousand in here as, uh, uh, maybe. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how far we get here with it. I think last time we had something like 160,000. Was it 160,000 or 60,000 or 40,000? I don't know now. See, I want it as close as I can get it, but it doesn't have to be perfect, but still. Thanks to you guys for getting Chinese food. Hey, there you go, man. Heck yeah. Dude, you can't go wrong with some with some hibachi or some fried rice or something, man. It's just good. It's just good. I like some good old fried rice. Just egg fried rice. Sometimes chicken's good with it. Uh, sometimes the bocce is good, but if we make it at home, more than not, if we make it here lately, we've been doing just egg fried rice. Eggs got your protein, right? So there you go. That's covered. Throw some veggies in. Shoot this bird and put it in the pot. Shrimp fried rice. Yeah, man. Shrimp's great. Uh, but they got, we, we got shellfish allergies in the house, so... I ain't had shrimp fried rice in a long time. Maybe one day. Maybe one day again. Yeah, I want to try to get this done and then make one swipe over there next to that and put our road in. That way I can at least have uh, a little peace of mind that we can, I'm cutting off a little bit of my field, but I can extend the field some on this end. And I think I might do that actually. Uh, I think I might bring the field on out over here. Because the way this is going, right, this is loam on this end. So this should be uh, some decent... Uh, here, I'll stop right there. So if I bring the field out to here, right, that'll more than make up the difference for the road. If I just come straight out off of that and kind of round it off right here, right, that gives us more field. Uh, it gives us probably double what we're going to lose for the road. So, uh, and it should be the loamy stuff, right? Whatever this is. Loam, yeah, it should be loam uh, on this side. Just just if you look at the way the, the green is on the mini-map there, right? Got the lime green on the right, and we got, we're in loam. So technically, if we go to the left, we should have loam there too. That's the idea. I'm hoping it works out that way. I don't know that it will. I don't know that it will. to cut my way out of that one. You don't have access to this land. I'm aware, thank you. 
That turns way sharper, doesn't it? I think that steering's probably better for this. Yeah, Bob, I'm with you, man. Uh, I like I like some good crab cakes, like actual crab, not not the crab with a K. <laughs> uh, actual crab cakes. Love some shrimp. Oh, wrong one. Not the crab cakes, but crab cakes. Stuffed crab, one of my favorites. Sixty three percent full. We should be able to get uh, at least this row one, two, maybe two more after this one. Maybe. I don't know. We're already 70% full, aren't we? It's going to be close. It'll be bad close. steering mode is definitely better even though it's a little wonky with with trying to get gps because it's it follows the head right it follows wherever the, the center of the the vehicle is but eh, it still works Yeah, we'll definitely get one more. We'll go around the bird tree. Yeah, see the GPS is kind of wonky with it there. It got it all, but still though, kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of bouncing back and forth. Anyone playing on Wild Miss? Uh, I forgot how big 17 is. Um, dude, Wild West is huge, man. I'm not playing on it. Uh, but it's there for any PC players that may want to jump on and play on a big 16X map. One of our community members has one up. So, totally up to you. But you're welcome to it. And we'll cut the game sound back down just a touch. We'll cut it down one or two clicks here. Where's the... Right there? Yeah. Vehicle volume down just a touch there. There we go. It was, it was making me yell. I don't like yelling. Oh, missed a little bit there. Definitely does some weird stuff. Oh, 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 we're full. God, we're killing all of our sugar beets. I was reading Bob's message. I didn't even realize that. Uh, it is in the... Uh, let me go over here and look, Bob. Uh, Huron County. It says Huron County. I need to change it to Wild West. Uh, and it should be, info should be pinned. Oh, I never did change all that stuff, did I? I need to change it. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get all that fixed up today. Uh, so all the info is in there. It's just, instead of Huron County, it's just Wild West. But the, um, it's at the top. So I need to get all that pinned. I thought I had it all pinned already, but. Uh, again, there's there's things I need to go through and, and clean up for sure.
All right, so there's another 45, that's 90,000 we put in here. Ninety thousand we put in there. Oh nope, uh, this one. So basically, the sugar beet lasted up until two days before we were ready to harvest again. So yeah, we're gonna have to have constant. We're gonna have to have another field. That's all there is to it. When we lease this thing, we're gonna have to harvest two or three fields to make this worth doing. That's kind of what I'm starting to figure out here. Thought you had to cut it? What do you mean? Oh, the sugar beet? I do. I do. So we need we need regular sugar beet and we need cut sugar beet. Um so uh this whole top side right here. If I can get that was roughly ninety thousand. So uh if I can put about a hundred and twenty thousand in here of regular sugar beet. I'll try to put about 140 in of cut sugar beet because it's just one to one for sugar beet. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how far that gets us. It may not get us too far, but uh, I'm hoping it evens out and I can. Yeah, I need all three. So I'm hoping I can guess at it and kind of even it out. Because the last time, you know, I put it all in the in the silo and then I took the, the sugar beet I wanted to cut out and kind of halved it up. But I figured this way, you know, there's, there's it's wasted, it's not wasted moves. We're going straight into the, the processing plant. I have an, about an idea of how much we need in there. We need about 140,000 of each in there, roughly. So, um, I'm hoping I can guess at it. But again, I'm not gonna get to it all today. I'm gonna finish up these two lines, cut one more, and then uh, I'm gonna do paint my road. We got our road painted up there. That is not, that is not good. All right, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna manually. God, this is hard with a keyboard with this, this type steering on this thing. There we go. <laughs> it gets weird with the keyboard like that. Uh, but yeah, so so I know about how much we're going to get off of this field. So uh, if I can get roughly 120,000 or 140,000 of each in there, we'll be okay. Uh, even if we don't, I plan on keeping the whole bottom half of that sugar beet and doing the whole top up here where I'm at now, sugar cane. So even if we don't get it all in there, um, we should be able to keep enough rotating that... Uh, we'll always have something in there, if nothing else. Because realistically, right now, I need to be planting sugar beet again in this whole field, but uh, just given the amount of time it takes. Yeah, given the amount of time it takes for it to grow, uh, how many days we end up skipping, we're usually out of sugar beet by then. Ideally, we want to store a bunch up, right? I mean, that's the ideal thing. We want two or three sugar plants running, uh, store a bunch up, and, and have some in reserve just in case. That's the ideal way to do it. I'm only doing what I can do. So. Sixty-five percent. And then, like I said, we're going to go across here one time. Uh, well, maybe twice. Because I cut a half row here. So we'll cut a half row, and then we'll come back and cut one more. Uh, and then that'll be... Uh, what do we have? 90, so 90, 120. So we're at 120 right now of regular sugar beet. So one more row, and then technically the rest of it should get cut... Uh, or one more load, rather. Or not one more load. 
Uh, we're at 120, so about 20,000 more, about half, uh, about 50% of this one more time. And that'll give us, that'll give us what we need, I think. So, uh, for, for this side anyway. And I really should run uh, Headland down this thing. But right, right now I'm just I just want to get this get this cut up here. So I can get my road. Yeah, see now we're now we're pretty straight there. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of grass and run it across and then we're going to paint uh, and I hate to do that on the field that we've already drilled because once you've drilled it that's pretty much it um, alright so there's 36,000 more we're at 100, roughly 126,000 is where we're at right now and I need I need about 145,000 in there. Yeah, we need about uh, about 20,000 more. We'll we'll get us, I think. But that's gonna wait because I'm gonna go ahead and paint my road in here. And we're probably gonna go ahead and cut a headland around this thing. I don't wanna get my Am I steering back to this? Yeah, there we go. Alright, I'm just going to cut that off right there so we're not using it. Oh man, look at the nitrogen level. That's going to take a ton of uh, fertilizer. Alright, let's go down and do some construction here. We're going to go landscaping. Uh, if we do this, does this take away the snow? Oh, it does. Okay, good. Oh, what is that? Opening, but why is it? Why is it painting? Or is it just where it's? Yeah, I'm just trying to get me a good uh, sense of where the. I think that's just where we harvested. I think that's all that is. Aha, see, that's what I was looking for. I'm looking for the, uh... Looking for our line here for the field. Right there. I want to kind of follow this. What am I hitting back here? I'm running into something. Oh. <laughs> uh, so something like that's fine. Right? And that's about all I need, really. Uh, so if I do this, I do painting. I do grass. Uh, is this square? I can't see it. Is it round or square? I think it's round. Change shape. Yeah, it's, there we go. Okay, change shape. B. All right, we want the square. I just want to kind of go straight across here with some grass. It's going to be kind of time consuming because I want it to be straight. I don't want to get into my, my sugar beet that's already there. Which is why I wanted that, that first line so straight across there so I could just, I could have something to go by here. But I want a little bit of a grass edge here. A little bit time consuming. Almost got it though. The other side's not gonna be as finicky because I'm not trying to stay out of crops over there. So here though is kind of touch and go.
I don't think I've ever tried to do anything this precise. Usually I just kind of throw it up there and let her fly, but... All right, and then we come around here. Something like that. And then once we harvest the rest of this and that snow melts, I'll finish that up. Finish making that look good. All right, and then here, uh, I kind of want to do something like this. I want to make this a little bit bigger over here, but um, let's see. I'm going to get rid of all the plowed up field here at some point. I just want to, uh, make sure we're getting, getting some dirt in kind of to the field road, right? Something like that. Okay, uh, and then the rest of this is going to be dirt. And again, when we come back with the, the I'll, I'll go lease me a plow and I'm going to take this field and I'm going to extend it out a pretty good bit, probably about where that's sitting and then back into that. So uh, we'll get this amount of field back plus, plus a little extra probably. Little time consuming. All good though. There we go. That looks pretty good. Well, let's go back to grass now. And I probably should do something like this, right? The dead grass, maybe. Go down a size. Something like that. I think that looks better, honestly. This spray it way out there though. That cursor's not very big. That's covering a lot of ground there. I actually kind of like that better, though. I get all that plowed area up there. And then this side. It's not actually changing the ground though, is it? Oh, there we go. Okay, I just had to get into the field a little more. All right, that's what we want right there. And get straight again. That, that actually worked out really well the first time. Let's try it again. Oh, it's just not... Uh, Change the intensity. There we go. It's working pretty well. It's working pretty well. That's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, uh, plants. I wish I could get the dead plants, like the, these are like bushes, right? 
Yeah, I don't want those. I don't want those either. Really don't want those either. Uh, I mean, if that's the best we got, I guess that's what we're gonna have to go with. There we go. Uh, yeah, that looks better. It looks better. Got us a little road straight across. Um, yeah, dude, absolutely. Junior's, Junior's great at that kind of stuff, man. I'm terrible at it. There we go. Got it straight across. We made us a little road. Uh, a little happy road. Get some little happy trees. That looks pretty good. We'll finish up this harvest uh, tomorrow, probably. Uh, but yeah. Uh, a little road straight across. We can run straight back and forth to our silo over to our sugar mill. Uh, I'll take the road on around. Uh, once we get the plow out and extend our field, we'll uh, we'll fix all that up too. Uh, but that is going to do it for me today. I appreciate y'all hanging out. And uh, thanks for everybody that stopped by. Thanks for the raid from Maltese Panda. Mr. Maltese Panda here on Twitch. If you want to go hang out with him, you can. Uh, thanks for the new follows. Um, yeah, I think that's going to do it. I'll be back tomorrow on YouTube around 1 p.m. Eastern, and I will be on time tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be checking out another demo of another game, so look forward to that. I'm, I'm enjoying checking out all these demos, honestly. Uh, it's keeping me keeping me refreshed, I guess you could say. Uh, I appreciate it, and I will see you all tomorrow back on YouTube, youtube.com slash Deuce MS. If you're watching this later, and you're watching it on YouTube, you're watching it on Deuce's VODs. I have a main channel called youtube.com slash Deuce MS. Find me there. You can find all the links down below. Follow me on Twitch where this was live streamed, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. Later, everybody.